What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, before now before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we are now on the road of 500 subs. Actually, we are now actually, excuse me, we we are now actually 241 subs away from hitting 500, and who knows, maybe we might hit, hit 500 subs by the end of the summer, which I believe lands actually at the end of next month, funny enough. So, only time will tell, but but as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition to Chaos Box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners over at Collector Store. On the hopes to potentially pull a collector's rare out of the set, much similar to what I pulled out of my Genesis Impact box that I that I opened up last year, which is this beautiful B cop from the Underworld. This scene looks absolutely amazing, you guys. But with that being said, if you guys if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want, want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new, so if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 85% of you guys are watching the content. But you guys are not even subscribed. And to top it all off, we got to get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not, have not, have, have not subscribed as of yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the, the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all my social media, all my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be down in the description as well. And I want you guys, guys to post in the comments below, answering the question of the day, which is this. What are your guys' thoughts on, on the most recent deck build set, Crossover Breakers set? What are you guys' thoughts on on crossover breakers and what reprints would you guys like to see in the set? Let me know down in the comments below. And speaking of the set, we actually talked about the first arc, the first new archetype that 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 was in crossover breakers, known as the Rizial archetype, in which there is one other card to that I that I heard, that I completely forgot about, but. That is for another video. This time we have another. This time we actually have the second archetype. And and it is known as the Malice archetype. Now, this is a bit of an in this is a bit of an interesting thing. Uh um a bit of an interesting archetype because um this is actually, I believe. An Xyz archetype, or is this a link? This is actually a link-based arch, a link-based archetype that, if you can actually believe it, and I know that this will be hard to believe, but it's actually so. It is actually based on Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, if you guys remember the old, the old instant classic movie Alice in Wonderland. That is what this archetype is based off of, and I'm actually very intrigued with 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 this one. <sighs> and and I'm um, honestly, honestly, I'm actually 
intrigued by this by this archetype because where because with the word malice the a is actually flipped upside down so i don't know i'm probably not gonna be able to add that into the title the into the title of the video which is unfortunate but but i'm but i'm excited i'm i'm excited for for this for this archetype so let's not waste any time and just get straight into it kicking these off we've got malice pawn white rabbit Which, <sighs> excuse me, excuse me, which is a three star dark cybers with 1200 attack, 1300 defense, and and the first and third effects are both once per turn. The first effect reads, reads if, if this card is normal or special summon, you can set one malice trap from your deck with a different name from the cards in your graveyard. Second effect reads, Reads, you take no battle damage from battles involving Malice Link monsters that point to this card. Uh, third effect reads, if if this card becomes banished, you can pay 300 life points, special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck except Link monsters for the rest of the turn. So, so, so this is actually kind of interesting because this is essentially... I wouldn't say that this is your combo starter, starter but this is more of your combo extender if you will so so if you found a way to banish the to banish banish the card from 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 your deck you can pay 300 special summon it and then go and then just set any mouse trap 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 from from your deck to your back row and because that you hadn't have committed to your normal summon if you did if you if you haven't had if you hadn't already you can you can you can um you can normal summon another monster <sighs> you can you can you can normal summon another monster depending on what your extra looks like you can either go into into a rank three a synchro six synchro eight what or whatever you may have at your at, at, at your disposal and just combo off from there, which is really cool. And not, and not only that, and not only that, that if if there is a link monster and it points to to this card, you basically take no damage. So essentially, it's like you bell. It's basically you bell on a three star body, which is which is which is pretty crazy. But next up, we have Mouse Pawn Chessire Chessire Cat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Which is a three-star Dark Cybers with 1,500 attack, 300 defense, and the first and third effects are both once per turn. And I believe the third effect is a the the third effect of those two plus. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So 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 the third effect. Of all the monsters, with the ex um, of the mon of of the of the of the main the main deck monsters, the third effect is the exact same. Pay three hundred when it's banned. Where if if this card is banished, pay three hundred uh, special summon, but but you're not allowed to summon from from the extra deck except for link monsters. So I'm going to read off just the first two effects. And that's pretty much it, because the third effect again remains the same. But but the first effect reads during during your main phase you can banish one malice card from your hand, then you can draw two cards. Okay, I mean I mean it's a nice little uh it's a nice little like uh <sighs> it's a nice little like like a mini pot of greed, if you will, which is pretty cool. And then the second effect reads, Monsters destroyed by battle with a Malice Link monster that points to this card are banished instead of being sent to the grave. So funny enough, not so so funny enough, not only do you have a way to a way to banish 
the banish the white the white rabbit but you also have as well basically a pot of greed and you also have a way to um basically just just macro cosmos the living shit out of out of your opponent's board which is insane so pretty much so any so any, any bat anytime one of your mouths monster one of your mouths link monsters that this card points to destroys an opponent's monster in battle Basically, that monster gets banished. So, in in a way, it's like a mini. I know I said macrocosmos, but it's more more like of a mini dark law. I, I I guess if you will, which is pretty cool. And also, you can also go into rank threes with this deck as well, which is amazing. Next up, we have Malice Pawn Dormouse. Which obviously it's it is a waifu deck so you know damn well this is gonna be this is gonna be the next big meta deck <sighs> damn anyway anyway it is a three star dark cybers with with 900 attack 300 defense the first and third effects are are both once per turn obviously obviously the third effect is is the same so the first effect reads during your main phase you can banish one malice monster from your deck also all malice monster control will gain 600 attack for the rest of the turn so i mean it's not bad i mean <sighs> excuse me the only the only problem with with this effect is that is that you would have to um is that you would have to use this effect on on mostly the link monsters for the most part but um but honestly it's still it's still it's still pretty cool cuz um cuz with this with this archetype we could potentially be seeing a seeing rank 3 malice exceeds monsters um for this for this archetype at some point down down the road and it's going to be probably probably one of the most broken decks in 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 the format but only time will tell we'll we'll just have to wait and see uh the second effect reads uh malice link monsters that point to this card cannot be destroyed by card effects so card so so card so cards like dark hole cards like cards like raigeki and cards like uh light uh uh, lightning storm actually don't don't mean jack shit the only way that that you would be able to use those cards is if or rather your opponent would be able to use those cards is if your opponent used um um is if is if your opponent had excuse me had had opened with 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 one of those cards plus uh Plus Dark Ruler no more. That's like that. That's like the only way. But even if that was the case, there's also Crossed Out Designator, which, which allows which which allows your opponent to banish Dark Ruler no more, and then and then and then the effect would be would be negated, and in which case your opponent would just have have to scoop, and then and and then if you had Prohibition, you can activate Prohibition and call call out Dark Ruler no more. And your opponent is just fucked from there. So this is a pretty cool way to protect protect your whole board from being from being uh, from from being uh, uh, destroyed, which is pretty cool. But next up, we have Malice Queen Red Ransom. Which. Is a dark cybers link three with 2300 attack and its arrows are left, right, and bottom. And it requires two or more monsters, including a malice monster. And the first and third effects are both once per turn. And I believe the link monsters, both of the link monsters' third effects are ex are, are the same, but, but with an added twist, if you will. So the first effect reads. Reads, if if this card is special summon, you can add one malice spell from your deck to your hand. Nice little spell rota, not too bad. Uh, the second effect reads the the original attack and defense of all 
Affect monsters your opponent controls are swapped while this card points to a monster. Okay. I mean, to be fair, it's actually kind of funny. It's it's actually pretty funny because it's 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 like a mini like sword and shield, which is pretty cool. Uh, third effect says says if this card becomes banished, you can pay nine hundred special summon it. Then you can banish a cypress monster from your deck. So this is basically what I was talking about: being able to to foolish burial the white the white the the white rabbit and just comboing off from there to to. To, to the extent where where you can literally have have your end board be both of the both of the malice link monsters plus like plus what plus what some some rank three exceeds like maybe Leviar or or something and then have like I don't know have like access code or maybe even uh, or maybe even have uh, the world goddess which is interesting. That that right there would be a pretty interesting end end board right there in 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 my opinion. But next up we have Malice Queen Hearts of Cryptor. Which is a Dark Cybers Link 3 with 2500 attack and its arrows are top, bottom left, bottom right. And it requires three monsters, including a malice monster. And both and both of its effects are are once per turn. I thought I I thought I thought this one had three, but this one only has two. The first effect, the first effect, which is a quick effect, reads reads: You can target one of your banished malice malice cards, shuffle it in into the deck, and if you do banish one card on the field, this effect and its activation cannot cannot be negated if this card points to a monster. So, so this is a cool way to just one for one one of your opponent's monsters right off the bat. So this basically for this, so this effect forces your opponent to have to have a to have a response, which could be, which could be, um, which could potentially be an effect veiler. Um, if if you're able to find a way to um, to to negate this card but the but normally that would have would have been the case but the only way way that this card card's effects could be negated is through skill drain and skill drain is a pretty nasty card even by today's standards so that's like that that's like that's like the only way and essentially if if that if that happens then this essentially becomes a 20 a 2500 beat stick no problem literally that's pretty much it um, uh, second effect reads, if, if this card becomes banished, you can pay 900, special summon it, and if you do, its attack becomes doubled. 5,000 attack, people. 5,000 attack. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Not gonna say much about it. Holy shit, that's pretty crazy. Um, next up we have Malice in Underground. Which is obviously their, which is obviously the field spell, and and it has three separate effects. The first one reads: when reads when 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 this card resolves, you can banish one malice card from your hand, deck, or grave. Again, this is basically your foolish burial for the whole deck, which is pretty crazy. Uh, second effect reads: malice malice link monsters in control gain three thousand attack while you have three or more banished malice traps with different names. Third effect reads. Reads, reads. If you control any Malice League monsters, you, monsters, your opponent's monsters can o can only target them for attacks. This is basically attack guidance armor on steroids. This is horrendously broken. So basically, all of your so both um so both heart so both hearts of Cryptor and red and and red ransom would gain three thousand attack. Literally, they would gain three thousand attacks. So, so, so heart, so, so, so hearts of Cryptor. If it if it only had 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 the twenty five hundred, then it then it it would become it would become fifty five hundred. However, if it however if it however if its attack got doubled by using its second effect, then it would gain um 
it would basically basically become an 8,000 attack body, which is insane. And as far as as far as Red Ransom, it would only become become 5,300. Which, to be fair, the field spell can can essentially just push can essentially just just help you push push for game, which is absolutely insane. And not and and not only that, as I said, it's a fool's burial where instead of sending the cards to your graveyard, you get to banish one of your malice cards from from your deck, which is amazing. But but you can even also banish them from your graveyard, which gives you access to to summoning the to summoning the three star monsters, and you just combo off from there, which is amazing. And again, as I said, it also becomes becomes an attack guidance armor for the whole for for the entire deck, which is insane. But next up, next up we have the trap cards. So the first one up is Malice Code MTP Seven, which is a normal trap, and the effect is a and the effect is a once per turn that says this. You can activate activate this card the turn up was set by banishing a face up mouse card um um a by by banishing a face up mouse monster you control. Add one mouse monster from your deck to your hand, then if you control a mouse link monster, you can banish a card on the field. This is pretty cool, cool because because this is basically your your rota. This is basically a trap a trap um a rota in the form in, in the form of a trap card, and you're also able to banish cards on your opponent's field, which is insane. This this literally will will force your opponent to have cards such as um such as uh skill drain, and also cards like maybe Jinzo or maybe even also Royal Decree. So so if your opponent has 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 any of those cards, this deck essentially becomes dead literally dead you won't be able to do anything um and funny enough funny enough and uh there, there <laughs> there's a note underneath un un underneath the effect it says it says mtp stands for mad tea party 07 refers to chapter 7 a mad tea party the monster with dormouse is mad hacker from battle of chaos the, so again, it literally is based off of Alice in Alice in Wonderland, which is absolutely insane. Um, let's see here. Next up, we have Malice Code GWC06, um, which GWC stands for Grand Without a Cat, which was in uh, which was in uh, Chapter Six, known as Pig and Pepper, um, which is pretty cool. But it again it is it is a normal trap. The effect is a once per turn. Is a is is a once per turn that reads that reads special summon one malice monster from from your grave or banishment. Then if you control a malice link monster, you can gain life points equal to the sum of the monster's original attack. And it says that you can activate this card to turn to a set by banishing a face up malice monster you control. Um. So again, I believe that 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 part of the effect is all is, is all the same. But basically, you have yourself a DDR. This is essentially your DDR for for the entire deck. And if you also have a Malice Link monster, you you also gain life points, which could be literally anything, which is amazingly crazy. Obviously, nowadays life points really don't matter, um, un, un, unless if you were playing like playing in the go format tournaments or perhaps even in the edison format tournaments but for the most part this is actually pretty pretty slick pretty crazy uh and then of course we have one last new card card to talk about and then we got to talk about about the reprints so the last new card is known as mouse code tb 11 which refers to which apparently supposedly refers to twinkling begins with a T or three blasts, um, which is a line from chapter 11 of Alice's Adventures in, in, in Wonderland, Who Stole the Tart? And it could also be, be referencing th 
through the looking glass with white with white pawn to play and win in 11 moves and move 9. That could be it, but who knows. Um, but it is a normal trap. The effect is a once per turn. That reads, that reads, special summon one malice monster from your deck. Or if your opponent controls three or more cards, you can special summon a malice link monster from your extra deck instead. And the summon monster cannot attack or activate its effect this turn. This is pretty cool because... Because you can eat, you can literally summon, summon any one of the two two uh, link monsters, which could be either Red Ransom or or Hearts of Cryptor, and you and you essentially have a way to to set up your board. This is a good way to get to get your whole board set up, which is amazing, absolutely incredible. Um, as far as the reprints go, we have Dotskeeper. Aloof Lupine, Topologic Zero Boros, Allure of Darkness, Sign Sign Backdoor, uh, excuse me, and of course Dimensional Fisher, which is actually kind of funny. Um, so funny enough, I believe uh, cards like Sign and Mining can actually can can actually can actually be used in this deck, which is hilarious. My thoughts on it: I think I, I think it's a pretty cool the 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 archetype is a cool concept, but. But let's be real. This is a this is a waifu ar archetype, and we all know damn well that the that the waifu decks always end up becoming the meta decks. And if you don't believe me, all you gotta do is look at the at the Sky Striker deck. Look at um, uh, the life the live twin evil twin archetype. Those 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 waifu decks just yeah. <laughs> um they completely completely took took over took over the meta but with that being said that will do it for the for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new new to the channel and you guys want more card discussions in the future then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and as always make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media all my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be down in, in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.